If you have the Final Fantasy XIV equivalent of the Mona Lisa as your portrait like I do, you can clone it and try a bunch of different positions. But sometimes you need to ask yourself, why mess with perfection? So in this video, I'm going to tell all my secrets on how I got this immaculate piece of art. So if you want to figure out how to make adventure plates really work for you and how to make them look in your style, maybe you're just confused why they keep resetting every time you enter PvP. Like, why is this the default again? Well, this is the right video because I have spent a disgusting amount of time messing around with my adventure profile and portraits. For obvious reasons, because I'm a troll. So first up, the adventure plates and the portraits can be accessed under the character menu. Portraits are going to be the picture that you can show around and they are specifically only the picture. We're going to talk about those later because those get into a lot more detail. The next one is the adventure plate which is something that you can view by clicking any player name source. FC members list check, in-game chat box check, selected and clicking their HP bar, yeah there too. Pretty much anywhere that you can look and find a name you can access this menu. So to edit the adventure plate you just select the menu option and then you see it pop up on its current configurations. From here then you can edit the plate design with a bunch of presets that I won't bore every everyone by going through every single option just to blow this video past 10 minutes for monetization and to be frank recording that would somehow be even more boring for me because I need to edit that. Just a lot of options and these are really something that you're going to need to play with them on your own and figure out what works best for you. But one thing that you might want to consider changing is the adventure plate to the mirrored because there is a chance that that might attract even more attention to your assets because it seems most people don't use that. At least not yet. You really just want those assets to really stand out, right? You can also set the privacy settings if you want to hide your assets from the world, which I do not. Hallelujah, when you've got a blessing, you're going to share it. I'm so dumb. <laughs> now you can select the edit profile option where you can enter a bunch of information. Not gonna lie, not the biggest fan of this screen because it is fairly restrictive because it can only put in one favorite job but alas you can also put a fitting title here. Obviously things that I'd like to see is multiple favorites because it's like right now I am totally up the sage scholar hype train. I also really am enjoying white mage a lot lately these days guys. But maybe a role option would be really nice. What if you want to like flex roles? Eh, shoot. I have too many jobs leveled. I, I think that I might be in the minority of players here. I have every job maxed out. Square Enix is like but that's not normal. Why can't you be normal? Sorry, Baba Duke. One other thing that you can do here is that you can put a fitting title here. Like for me, I've been thinking about the options of the holy body, the howler, and the fistful. Just for me right now, I'm running the title of the of the holy body for obvious reasons. But that is the boring part of this. The more exciting part is the portraits where you get to define your assets in the best way possible. And we're going to be talking all about the portraits here. And first up is you can make up to 20 of these portraits and keep them. Yeah, that means that you can have like a metric ton of different configurations of different assets and different poses or whatever you want and different lightings even. The lighting can, ooh, let me tell you, shadows, shadows are a blessing. Now you can tell why <laughs> the one Eden Raid had Shadow Keeper. All the Asians knew all about darkness. I'm joking. Okay, I swear I'll stop. My boyfriend said I'm going to lose all my subs for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm actually laughing so hard. Yeah, really you can have up to 20 of these portraits and you can also make new portraits based off of currently existing ones so you don't need to start from like a base scratch template. You can actually start off from a starting point like for me I know what kind of portrait I want that has the best assets for me and then I can just modify the lighting in a few different ways. Like if you have the Final Fantasy 14 equivalent of the Mona Lisa as your portrait, like I do, then you can clone it. But sometimes you need to ask yourself, why mess with con like perfection? The next thing up is what the heck is this instant portrait and what is a primary portrait? Put it simply, for the primary portrait, the primary portrait will reflect the exact gear that you used when making that portrait. And that's going to be very important in a second here. And this can be displayed as your adventure plate. As, so when I change my gear, but don't change that primary portrait, so the portrait is the exact same, that does not change on my adventurer plate. Like if I assign a particular portrait to a particular adventurer plate as my primary portrait, that will reflect the exact gear that I was wearing at the time that I saved the portrait. When I change gear, change jobs, but don't change that primary portrait, my portrait does not change in my adventure profile. So my assets are in the clear here, but this is specifically for the adventure plates with the primary portrait. Now the instant portrait is very different, and that's why I was really emphasizing gear and keeping it consistent in the last one, because this is very different. 
which anyone wondering why their PvP portrait for adventure profiles is generic and gray when they're like, I literally see my portrait in my adventure plate, this is because you're not using the instant portrait feature, which is a very distinct from the primary portrait. Think primary portrait, adventure plate. Think instant portrait, PvP instance content. This portrait type is specifically displayed when you have an instant type of content, such as PvP right now. Though I can imagine in the future this will be extended to different forms of content. Hallelujah for that. But unlike the primary portrait for adventure plates, I'm just trying to emphasize this. I know some people at this point are like, okay, we get it, we get it. But I know that I will need to emphasize this because I will get questions from it, I, just based on prior experience. But Unlike the primary portrait for adventure plates, instant portraits reflects your currently equipped gear and title. So when you change anything about your current gear set, like changing jobs, for instance, it's going to be a very big one, including changing glamours, changing staffs, however you change your gear, this will reset your instant portrait to the gray default. You're going to see a little triangle by this portrait now if you change your gear. A very common question that I've been asked actually a ton of times is if you change your gear set, yes, you do need to update the instant portrait. You're going to notice that triangle icon that I just talked about. It is nice to know that if you change it, like your portrait isn't going to be totally messed up because if you're wearing like a particular glamour, it might not look quite as good with that particular pose, unfortunately. But at least currently, like, how to say, gear sets can be assigned to profiles. You can select the profile with by right-clicking it and then choosing a particular gear set to bind that profile to. That is actually a huge quality of life improvement if you want to do that. But for me, personally, in terms of my usage right now, and it could just be because the system's so new, for me, I'm mostly just setting the instant portrait in general because I'm thrilled with what I chose. Now onto the juicy part, which I have saved the best for last, the editing of the profile picture. And you just select the profile that you want to edit, and then you get a bunch of presets again. Personally, I like the more minimalistic, and I enjoy the void background just because it's black, and it makes the... <laughs> <laughs> my assets pop out better. All about those character assets, right? That's the name of this game, right? I'm so dumb. Now for the character menu, you can select the edit above the image and then you can zoom in, you can pause the animation, you can rotate the image, you can have the character face the camera and like look at the camera. Then you can start and stop the animations of your character in order to really get the best pose and angle. Recommendations that I can make is I do like the flex for instance because it emphasizes my assets in this pose, but there are many, many poses that also can emphasize your assets. However, you want to do it there's just different ways to like lean your character your character can look different directions and honestly I spent probably too much time in here but to get the right pose so that you can really have a profile that is distinctly you I think that that's worth it any takes did that take to not laugh through it <laughs> yeah, that's it for this video and I am really kind of curious what kind of adventure plays for profiles are you guys using in the comment section I'm actually genuinely curious what everyone has made actually I'm scared <laughs> actually very scared